Uh, hello, my name is Matthew, and last night I read In the Penal Colony by Franz Kafka. I read it in this great old edition that I've had for a very long time. Uh, my copy was translated by the Muirs, Edwin and Willa Muir, and In the Penal Colony is essentially a description of a torture device. And it's being explained and described by this executioner. He calls himself an officer. And he's explaining this uh, apparatus to a, a traveler or an explorer, somebody very important that's visiting this penal colony. And uh, while he's there, there's a condemned man being held by a soldier. And the, the condemned man and the soldier and this explorer are all surrounding this uh, torture device, this apparatus. And we have this officer very proudly describing how it works, uh, the commandant, the, the man that invented this machine and laid down the law, uh, the rule of the land for this pe penal colony. It begins, the first line is from the officer, very proudly talking uh, to this uh, very important traveler. And it begins with him saying, it's a remarkable piece of apparatus. And uh, the condemned man is eventually we're told at the beginning he's going to be going into this um, apparatus for his execution. We're told um, for dishonoring, being rude to his superiors. And so without a trial, uh, without a, a jury or any investigation, without any knowledge, any clear idea as to why this man's being executed, he's going to be Put into this elaborate device which uh, in great detail is described to us and it's described so meticulously that it nearly becomes confusing to understand the actual workings of this thing but what makes this story so haunting and disturbingly and darkly humorous in a way is how proudly how proud the officer is um, to be describing this elaborate torture device and how much this torture device is in disrepair and it's falling apart and um, it's been a very long time since it's been the, the golden ages, the heyday of this torture device with the old uh, commandment, uh, commandant who used to be so uh, respected and well regarded in this penal colony. Uh, that old commandment, the commandant had died. There's a new commandment. There's been a, a tidal shift in the general attitude of this elaborate torture device. And now we have this officer trying to kind of creak and crank his way through keeping this thing um, sustained and maintained. And all the while, um, as he is proudly describing this machine, the condemned man is part of the audience. And he's described as this sort of uh, stupid, a dim-witted person with a stupid look on his face, barely understanding uh, what's being described and what is about to happen to him. And the officer is just going on and on about how great this thing is and talking about all of its parts. This apparatus has three main components, the bottom portion, which is the bed. That's where the condemned man is going to be laid on. And then the designer, a very large, it's described as a, a large uh, wooden chest. That's the designer. And then um, placed uh, within the designer is the harrow. And it, the harrow is a series of needles. And over the course of 12 hours, it's going to um, 
slowly and with great detail puncture needle marks into the condemned man creating a very specific design and it's going to be almost like a tattoo but um, the puncture marks um, designing um, a phrase the judgment of this man which is honor thy superiors it's going to be um, that judgment is going to be um, <clears throat> pierced into him to his own death and it goes on for 12 hours these needles are going to be going into this man there's uh, wool and cotton and um, tubes and valves to make sure that the water is being washed off and these elaborate designs have been made by the old commandant and so he's showing off these um, like beautiful um, calligraphy art pieces as something to uh, be admired. He won't even let the traveler uh, hold any of these pieces. That He considers them um, his most prized possessions. And so it's just this bizarre, uh, nightmarish scenario that the traveler objects to everything that he's seeing. Uh, he finds it horrifying. He's being patient, he's observing, he's learning um, what exactly has been going on in this penal colony, but he's not interjecting. He's not objecting. Finally, uh, the explorer, who's so proud of himself and happy with himself and believes that the traveler is on his side, they're going to go into town and after... The traveler has witnessed this beautiful machine in operation he'll be able to talk uh, the the officer the executioner believes that the, the traveler after witnessing this can talk to the new commandant and explain how how great this thing is and at this point the traveler says i i don't agree with any of this and he finally gives a response ob objecting to this uh, horror show in in, re, in in response to this the reaction the the officer lets the con condemned man go and decides that he himself is going to be getting into this apparatus and he gets into this thing and the whole thing screws up it doesn't work the way that it's supposed to work and although it is clearly a torture device the idea is that it, it's sending a message to the condemned man not merely just killing him but imprinting him with his own wrongdoing and that doesn't happen the need needles don't work things get stuck uh, the whole thing breaks and something that horrifyingly should take uh, a 12-hour period nearly instantaneously kills the officer he dies on this thing and it's it's a nightmare the 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 traveler the explorer uh, needs help from the condemned man and the soldier that had uh, witnessed this uh, atrocity they have to pull him out of the needles that are now hundreds of needles impaling him and hanging him above this torture device and he has to get gruesomely pulled down <laughs> and uh, a after this our traveler goes into town and <sighs> see sees the the, the, the lifestyle how, how these people are living he sees the grave of the old commandant and the story ends with him hightailing it out on a boat with people chasing him and trying to run after the boat and, and get him back or um, <clears throat> actually to, to get on the boat and be, be saved by this traveler. And instead, he just runs away from all this craziness. Uh, it is um, disturbing. 
Um, there are so many really interesting um, um, dynamics with the relationships between all of these characters, uh, especially how um, the officer, the executioner, um, believes how he's being perceived. And it's almost as if, if he can just explain what's happening, if he can show it, then we will all see um, the, the beauty in this execution. It wouldn't be an execution at all. It would just be the beauty of a judgment being passed. Disturbing. Um, and there are parts that are, are dark uh, that are kind of funny to me. So, uh, In the Penal Colony by Franz Kafka, it's a description of a torture device. It's nightmarish and funny. Uh, let me know if you've read it. Please leave a comment if you would like, and thank you for watching.